So what are my plans for classic season of discovery and what preparations do I do before the game launches? Well, that's a good question and today I'll try to answer it in this video. So you're probably already familiar with all the different class changes. If not, then remember to also watch my class changing video. Because of all these changes, then I also want to try something new for a change. And therefore, I'm also happy to announce that what I will be playing in Season of Discovery as a main character is a rogue. And no, not as a DPS, but as a tank, because I would like to try something completely different. This time, I won't be solo leveling all the way up to max level. Instead, what I will be doing is to play with one of my real life buddies that I've been playing World of Warcraft with ever since 2006. And because of all these class changes, then he found it tempting to actually try Season of Discovery as he's usually just playing retail and yeah, I'm a classic Andy. My mate is going to play as a mage, but not as a DPS, as a healer, as this is also a possibility. So we're going to play two classes that has received many different changes and I expect a tank rogue with a ton of CC and a mage healer with a ton of CC as well to perform so decent. So he will be my pre-made healer all the way up to 25. And for those of you wondering about the professions I will choose, then it's going to be skinning and leatherworking. Skinning to collect materials for leveling up leatherworking, but also for raw gold making. And the reason why I will choose leatherworking is because of the new things you can craft as a leatherworker that will be useful as a tank. Talking about professions, then I believe it will be so important to level up these as you are leveling your character and not just rush to 25. The reason why I'll focus on professions as I'm leveling up is because I feel like the moment people reach 25 and if they then start working on professions then there will be a lot more competition for each individual material where in the beginning it might be easier to collect the different items. And remember when the level cap is only 25 then there won't be many zones we can go to to do professions. So I believe each zone will feel a lot more crowded and the competition will be a lot higher once most people reach 25 and start working on professions. So what are my leveling plans besides leveling with my mate? What I might actually do is to activate another subscription and level two characters at the same time. Because there are so many different classes I would like to try out in classic season of discovery. So maybe I will have an alt character on follow as we're questing but it's still undecided for now. But one thing I'll definitely do as I'm leveling up is to also do different dungeons. So for example, Dead Mines, Shadow Fang Keep and Wailing Karens to collect different rare items on my way to 25. By doing something like this, I will also have a decent amount of gear when I reach 25 and hopefully this will make me able to attend my first raid a bit quicker. But then again, we don't know if the raid will be available from the beginning. If that's not the case, then what I will do instead is to focus on gearing an all character, probably a protection paladin. What I've also done is to take one day off work so I can attend the launch. But I'll only be able to play for an hour or two before I'll most likely have to take a break and take care of my newborn son. That's why I also don't plan to stream at all as I believe the streaming quality would be way too bad as I would probably have to go FK once in a while or will probably quite often. So what I will do instead is to enjoy the leveling and as I'm leveling but also at max level I'll start spending time on new videos and guides. So if you're interested in classic season of discovery then I would highly recommend you to subscribe to the channel so you get notified the next time I post a video. Who knows maybe it might be a gold making opportunity or investment video that will be important to watch as quickly as possible. What I'm also trying to do right now is to plan my upcoming leveling talent tree because we won't get to 60 and unlock some of the most important abilities or spells. So instead of focusing on an old build in classic to 60 where you would probably play as combat rogue then you might be using some other talent trees this time around as they're going to be more beneficial between level 10 to 25. So I would highly recommend you to spend some time and try to plan your leveling tree by doing something like this, you will level more efficiently, but you will also not have to go back to your trainer and spend gold to respec. Right now, we still don't know how long phase 1 will last for and if there will be introduced new raids. But what I also plan to do is to level up a couple of profession characters. Then in phase 2, when the level cap is raised to 40, we can also max out professions and probably start working on upcoming profession cooldowns. 
maybe there might even be introduced new patterns and other things at level 40, for example epic items like we can obtain at level 25. As of right now, there's been so many different class changes because of the different runes that has been introduced, but who knows what other runes will be introduced in the future, and if all classes will all of a sudden also be a lot more similar. That's why I'm also unsure if I should try to level up every single class in the game, simply because we don't know what will happen in phase 2, and if your main class will all of a sudden not be as good as it is in phase 1. But then again, the name of this game is also Classic Season of Discovery. And we have to discover these things ourselves in the next phase. And I'm glad we don't know what will happen in the upcoming phases and what will be the next best DPS or tank like we know in Wrath of the Lich King or we did ever since 2019. So during the launch day, there will be a lot of competition in the different starting zones. And my plan is of course to try to quest. But if I ever get to a quest where there's too much competition, for example a quest where I need to just wait for one specific enemy, then I might just skip these kind of things and instead move on and kill creatures as it will grant me a lot more experience. Here's a tip for you that would like to level up many different characters to 25. Get them to around level 5, finish the starting area and move to the nearby innkeeper. Log out get rested experience, and then whenever you play that character, you will also gain 100% additional experience from kills. What I usually do is just to get a couple of all characters to the innkeepers, and then play them only when they have rested experience. Another thing I believe will be so important, and something I should focus on as fast as possible, is to build up a decent economy for myself. We don't know what will happen to the different professions, and if there will be new things you can collect in the open world, some might even be rare and extremely expensive. So on my way to 25, I will of course level up my skinning and vendor most of the leather that I find. On top of this, whenever I do a quest, and if I don't need any of the quest rewards, then what I will do is to choose the one that will vendor for the most. We still don't know if the STV arena chest will be available, but if so, then it could also be tempting to take a bank character to this location. So every 3 hours try to collect a chest, as you can gain a lot of gold from this. And this gold you could then spend on purchasing new bags, spells or even leveling up professions. So what class will you be playing in Classic Season of Discovery and what preparations have you done yourself? Let me know this in a comment below the video and if you simply can't decide what to play then my class picking guide might also help you decide. There I showcase the different spells and talk about the advantages and changes to every single class. But I have to admit, I'm looking so much forward to the fresh experience, where everyone don't know what will happen and we're gonna run around and discover many new things in the open world. If you would like to see more classic season of discovery guides, then make sure to check out the channel or even subscribe for future videos. As always, thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day.